So guys, what do you think about my 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 setup over here? So I paint this aluminum, that aluminum, that aluminum. Why? Because you're gonna see the contrast. Because I really don't want to paint it black. It's typical. Don't want to do that. Since I my control arm is rose gold. So the contrast will hit more different and plus the red bushings, it, it, you will see it. What'd you think? It looks good. I think so. I think it looks good. You know, it's a Russian job, but we've been here for two weeks and we got snitches out here. So we got to hurry it up now. Yeah. People, yeah. people in my community are snitching. We're gonna be installing this, me and my brother. After we install this subframe, we have to go pick up the other hub that our uh, friend Ken is removing the axle from the hub. Since you know, I've been telling you guys it was difficult for us to remove bolts, it's seized up. It's so bad, and we apologize if we didn't show you how to do it. It may be easier for others because they're doing it sooner or they don't see winter. This car has seen 10 years of winter because it's a up north car, car. So, being that so, things weren't in our favor. For one, the axle, the hub, and all of these bolts for all the control arms. They just were seized up, stuck. We tried everything. And, you know, we could have kept on going at it and we could have shown you, but we were in a time crunch. Two weeks later, and, you know, <laughs> we're still at this. For you guys, it's just gonna be one video, but it's two weeks. Right. It could be easy, right? It could have been easy. It could have been. Of it could have been easy. Of course. Oh, shit. Don't worry, I got this. This ain't nothing. That's right. To put any seeds don't be like me we breaking cutting bolts because it's seized up hurry up why are you taking so long no i'm not joking with putting any seeds man ready okay i'm ready <laughs> We just pressurize this over here, give it pressure, banged it with a mullet, and then we got it in. And I'm gonna do the other side. Oh, we need two jacks. Yeah, yeah, it would be great to have two jacks. <laughs> same time you have to loosen it make sure it's loose so you can play around with the bracket and lock this one then lock this the second so we good we good we need a shop we need a lift Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So we did it. This was the wrong bow, but we're just putting it to hold it on. This one goes here. Boop. That's the lower traction, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, upper traction. Upper down. control arm. Tie rod. Yep, go ahead. Everything's perfect though. Um, this feels tricky uh, because the bow is there. Uh, that's tricky. You just gotta put that first. Everything was good. Uh, we have a hurricane coming, so we gotta hurry up. And everybody here in my community is complaining. So we're gonna make sure this is we can put the car on the ground today. So we're missing a couple bolts. We're gonna order it from Hyundai and just put it down on the wheels for now and then pick it back up when everything comes in. Everything's a little dirty. a little longer but this goes there so, so let me get to adjust it yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now I think we have to do the same concept over here. The thing is, as you can see, this this is empty because I'm missing an axle. I already purchased the axle. I hope it comes in in three days. Drive shaft um, to the differential. And that's about it. Just put the wheels on and call it a day because we're going to have a hurricane starting Wednesday. I hope I my I hope my car don't fly. Okay. All time. Mm, this is just probably just gonna be the problem, the problem child. All right. We're back at it again. Okay, is there water? I'll give you water. sees these bolts why I don't want to go through this again seized bolts don't want to come out I'm not up for that not anymore I learned my lesson yo just comment below what you think about the, the setup I'm not sure you guys ready for this but um Little by little, I'm trying to evolve, but there's always doors keep on closing. But when I have my brother, it's all about family. Well, guys, um, we ran into another issue. For a future reference, if you Yo, I'm so sick and tired of this this journey driving back and forth going up and down to west to east by in, in, in the Florida state 
Ah, oh, dude. We are officially made it two weeks. Fred's two weeks in Florida right now. He was supposed to leave last Friday. Then turned out to be pushed to Saturday. Then turned out to be pushed to Sunday. Then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is today. And it's like he's gonna stay here another week. What happened? Well, it all it all started seized bolts. That's where it started. Everything was seized on the car. We had great luck with most of the bolts, most of the control arms. Everything was great until there was what four bolts that handles the control arms that didn't want to come out from the from both sides. And then once, mostly the driver's side. Yeah, mostly the driver's side. One one bolt is still stuck on the D2 coilover on the driver's side, which is stuck there. I don't know. We're going to take it to Bobby Fly, but we had to miss his appointments multiple times just because we couldn't we couldn't get the car running. Um, I have HOA on my butt right now talking about my cars. This is, we're working on cars in front of my house. What's HOA? Homeowners Association. Oh. Don't go HOA, but I know most people know that, so... Anyways, the last thing, well, one of the last things was the differential. The differential was a problem. We ended up taking down the cross member that was already put on the car, put the differential on, then to put in both of them together. Most people might know that. We thought it was going to be easier because it's less, you know, less weight. It was not the case. It was more difficult. Um, so we got that handled. We put all the control arms on, traction rods, everything's on the thing. Um, lastly, is not the axle. Um, uh, part of me wanted a Genesis. Now I feel like I don't want a Genesis anymore after finding out how much a f axle costs. And it's cost a thousand dollars for an axle at the local dealership. I, I, I was just, I was surprised at that. I don't even know. So, went to AutoZone, got an axle, both axles. Turns out they were both wrong. They, the computer says it's right, but they don't fit. Fred went to a junkyard to try to get one locally. Turns out that was for automatic. It's, um, if you guys didn't know, automatic axles is a male and manual axles are a female. So now we're out to find- Well, we were talking about rear differential axles. Yeah, rear differential, sorry, rear. Because there's two, uh, I mean, there's two uh, different axles. Like you said, to our males, if it's automatic, I didn't know that until today. But yeah. I saw the diagram from the Hyundai. It shows the f two females for the rear differential, and also it has to be 2.0, not 3.8. Right. So now we're on our way to St. Cloud, which is about an hour from me, because we found somebody with a part out. Um, so we're gonna head over there right now. It's 6 41. We're probably gonna get there 30 minutes before sunset and we're gonna try to yank that axle out. We're gonna just try to get the axle secure it and then come back. We're not gonna work on the car tonight. We're just gonna try to get the axle secure it. That's the main important thing. And to have to do everything by tomorrow morning and drop the cart on the floor. And it should be running by then. Hopefully, we keep saying that and we're already two weeks in, going on the third week. Fred needs to go home. So we haven't even started my car yet because we're trying to get Fred home. So oh. yeah. Anyways. That's a long intro. Um I'm not sure this is gonna be included with the video of the I don't know. I think we're gonna start making all these in parts. What turned out to be a week project or less than a week project turned out to be two weeks of a project and we're not even on the third car because we was working on Alex's car, which was mm -hmm. simple. He just needed a wing on. We got that done within an hour or two. And my car, we got done within a day. We took out the motor, but then found out it was worse than we thought. And now we did Fred's car, which was a nightmare. I don't even want to do differentials, cross members. I don't want to work on up north cars anymore. You know, you up north. Uh Listen, it's not yeah. my fault. Well, it is my yeah. fault because yeah, I would have paid attention before. Okay, I'm not about. I don't know about you guys, 
Um, but my car, since it's been 10 years without not even a maintenance work from the rear. So that's why it became seized up. Um, but I've seen some other videos and they're removing like nothing. Like yeah, nothing. Like nothing. Like nothing. But, and and they're from up north also. Why? Why is that? They have garages maybe. They got garages. House. The car sits in a garage. And my car sits in the street. There you go. But anyways. So. Now we're going to be able to. Hopefully we could get that axle. Right. Hopefully is the right axle. Right. But he said it is a 2.0 end manual. So. Right. I'm about to read that message again just to be sure. Oh man. Yes. Yeah, so crazy. I said, do you have a manual rear driver axle? He said for a 2.0? Yes. What do you offer? $80. Do you have a photo? No photo, but it's $80. It's cool. I guess he doesn't want to see the want me to see the car with him. I'm not gonna fucking steal it. I got what the fuck what are we gonna do? I just wanted to look at it. But it turns out, I guess, is because he doesn't have the axle out. So, he said he left me, he sent me a voicemail, a voice message. Hold on. I gotta put it on super fast and try to catch up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that was... So he sent me the address and he told me that the only thing that's out of the rear is the caliper. It's right now 645. We're gonna get there at 738. I wanna say saying hi to him, whatever, showing the car, seeing what we need to work with. I wanna say by before 815 we should be done with just one axle. Hopefully. If not, if it's not 815, then nine o'clock. But I don't know. I say 815, that's my time. No. Hey guys, so it's day 100. I have no idea what day it is, but we're back at it. It is Saturday. I'm still a little sick. Um, Fred is currently working on the Genesis right now. We're prepping it for it to go to Poppy Fly and Fly Performance for him to align the car. Thankfully, he was able to fit us in so Fred can go back home. He's planning on leaving tonight. He has to get back home ASAP. It's already been three weeks. He's been out of work. So, thankfully, you know, his job is okay with it. So, he has to head out. We did everything. We was able to get the drive shaft back on the differential. Now, we're just tightening up all the control arms, all the arms in general, just in case, you know, nothing gets loose. Lastly is the exhaust, two bolts, and the hangers. And the car should drop back down and should be ready. We are planning on heading out by 1.30. It is currently... Um, 1239 so we have less than an hour to get prepared to for friends to head out we're gonna start calling tow trucks <clears throat> we had somebody that we had in mind however he hasn't um, got back to us yet so we're gonna try to get this done as soon as possible we have one other issue that we need to address which is the exhaust that we mentioned in the beginning of these videos um, he did hit something on the way here wait not that one it's this one he hit it pretty bad this is the bottom side of it so he did hit something pretty bad um, on his way here so this one's fine this was it for some reason this one's hanging lower we're not sure why uh, Fred is finishing up just kind of taking a breather right now because I kind of adjusted all the arms we did the differential so just hanging out here and I'm sick so I'm trying to take a break 
Oh my god, I have a lot of antsy seeds in my face.